I still go back in my mind and think, wow, why did that happen? When we saw it top the hill, those few firefighters, they left. And so it was just my sister and I at that stage. My son had gone over to make sure my dad was okay. And my sister and I, um, we just sat up in that parking lot and we're just, it was just the two of us. And we just saw it coming over the hill and saw the flames right there. As hard as it has been to rebuild, it would have been harder not to. On the western edge of Colorado Springs, in the foothills of the front range of the Rocky Mountains, there sits a vast ranch framed by red ragged rocks, rolling hills, and the wide open Colorado sky. Leanne Wolf is the third generation owner of the Flying W, a 1,400-acre working mountain cattle ranch. It was purchased by her grandfather and then run by her father and mother, Russ and Marion Wolf. My maternal grandfather, his name was Don H. Wilson. He had three Kansas ranches and he wanted to combine those ranches into one ranch. And they had summered here in the summer times and they really loved it here. So they decided to move to Colorado. So my granddad and my dad, they were the original people that brought quarter horses to the state of Kansas. And then they brought them to Colorado. And then after a while, my dad realized he needed to supplement his income somehow, and so he started the Flying W Ranch. And it actually started in that they just took horses all around the property, and at the end of the horseback rides, they would have families come to pick the, the riders up, and then there were so many people um, after the rides that they just got rid of the horses and just went to cooking. So, and then, you know, the rest was history. Since 1953, generations of families have visited, serenaded by cowboy music under the Colorado stars, and their appetites satiated by a delicious chuck wagon supper of barbecued beef, beans, homemade biscuits, and applesauce, all served on tin plates. But it's never really been about the food. It's been about turning back the clock to a simpler time and sharing with people a taste of the Old West, featuring fellowship, laughter, and faith. We have served generations of families. You know, it's just an incredible place. We keep the Old West alive. My parents had two goals, to keep the Old West alive, and they also wanted to be a blessing to people. My parents were Christians, I'm a Christian, and that was their mission in life. You know, they really just had those two things. Keep the Old West alive, be a blessing. Routine has a way of lulling you into thinking what was will always be, but nothing ever stays the same. Sometimes by choice, other times by chance, and sometimes because of a crisis. On June 23, 2012, after 59 years of continuous operation, the Wolfs and their crew were getting ready for multiple sold out weekend performances when smoke appeared in the sky to the west of the ranch. A wildfire had blown up in the Pike National Forest. The fire grew quickly, creeping closer and closer through Sunday, Monday, and into Tuesday afternoon. The hill was on fire back there. You can see the wind's now picked up. We're getting into the smoke. I was up with one of the firefighters who assured me that he told me, listen, your worst case scenario is that we will burn from this road to the top. No worries here. And I thought, okay, great. That's the worst case scenario. As a summer heat wave sent the temperatures soaring above 100 degrees, a late afternoon thunderstorm with little rain collapsed over the mountains. 80 mile an hour gusts of wind carried a wall of fire over two canyons, cresting over the hill, sweeping down into the famed family ranch. I remember like it, was, like, like it was yesterday when I can tell you exactly where I was standing on the mountain 
when um, he got a call and his face turned gray and he said, I can't talk to you anymore. And all the firefighters that were on the mountain left. They had higher priority areas. They took them elsewhere. This is CSFD is trying to put this home out. It's just on the east side of Flying W Ranch Road and they don't want this fire crossing Flying W Ranch Road, otherwise it'll take out all these homes blowing southward. By the time Tuesday was over, the Flying W Ranch was gone, along with 346 homes in the Mountain Shadow subdivision. I still go back in my mind and think, wow, you know, why, why was that, why did that happen? It's been eight years since the fire on that fateful day. During that time, Leanne and her family have suffered nearly every imaginable setback. So this got all trashed, that, third, that rain just yeah. trashed everything. Besides the fire, there have been floods. There's been mitigation needs, environmental studies, government red tape, even the death of the ranch's owner, Russ Wolf, who died in 2019 at the age of 92. How do you replace a patriarch, a man who laid all the bricks by hand on the ranch? You can't. It was an incalculable loss for Leanne and the entire family. And then the coronavirus global pandemic. Setback after setback. But Leanne refused to give up and give in. Tennyson once said, he said, in fact, I have this on my steering wheel in my car. It says, it is better to have tried and failed than to have never tried and wondering what have ha would have happened if I would have tried. Mm. After all my parents put into this, after all the families that had been blessed by this, that legacy was so deep and so rich and so wide, I had to try. The result has been a great American comeback story. The Flying W Ranch is rising again. A new outdoor dining area has been constructed featuring seating for 1,400 people at picnic tables made of 200-year-old trees from a neighboring mountain town. Those tables were born out of the fire. So we got really good at, at forestry mitigation work. And we decided, you know, if we want to keep cleaning up the ranch here, we've got to be able to fund that activity. So we started a company and um, we, our first big break was with the U.S. Forest Service. We started doing projects for them. So those tables are from one of the projects that we were doing for the U.S. Forest Service, and there were large logs, and we brought them right here, and we bought a $7,000 extension for a mill, and I remember the day that these guys started milling those massive logs, because what they did is they just simply cut them in half and put them like this for the tabletops. And I know those guys were scared because they'd never done anything like this before. And we, we weren't even sure if we would, we would be able to pull it off. But they're stunning tables. They're incredible. In fact, people from all over the city, when they come, they say, now where can I get one of those tables? So we might go into the table business now. I'm back in the saddle again. There's a new outdoor stage for the Wranglers, singing cowboys and a cowgirl who will evoke the spirit of the West under the starry Colorado sky. We auditioned over 300 Wranglers from around the nation. 300, and uh, we, we chose five. So they're incredible. When I tell you that we have a magical group, we truly do have a magical group.
We've put in so many hours trying to get ready for this, putting the songs together and the humor. We just want to have a show that will be not only as memorable to the audience, but something that really praises the Lord and something that we can use to thank Him for everything that He's done for us. We have a phenomenal smoker. We actually hired, if you can imagine, the number two across the United States on Yelp for smoked meats. We hired him for three days. And he came and he trained us. He helped us get our rubs and our, and our barbecue sauce right. And I think we're gonna have the best barbecue in the state of Colorado. Yes, that'll do. At the root of the Flying W Ranch's rise, though, isn't just grit and gumption, hallmark characteristics of American greatness. Sure, there's hard work, sweat and tears, but there's something that transcends a drive to come back from a setback. Faith sits at the center of not only Leanne's life, but also rests at the heart of the history of the Flying W. When the Waldo Canyon fire roared down the mountain and consumed almost everything in its path, there was something else that survived the deadly wildfire. An empty cross, the universal Christian symbol that from death comes life eternal for those who believe. But that cross stood, nothing but ash and that cross. And it's a wooden cross. We, we felt it was necessary for when people were up hiking, whatever, that they would see that this is, and I, I'll read this for you, Tim. It says, immediately after fire, this old wooden cross that graced the outdoor wedding facility pre-fire stands tall and erect. Through this cross, God whispers that with his help, you can overcome. And then we just put Isaiah 41, 13, which is, for I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, do not fear, I will help you. So this is kind of our, our important spot. Wow. Keeps us going. Yeah. Eight years later, the cross still stands, a reminder that faith triumphs over fear, faith that can withstand the flames and fires of this world. America has been through a lot these last few months. There have been setbacks and low points, too many in fact, but gospel-centered hope isn't rocked by the inevitable swings of fortune. It holds us up and helps us hold on, believing that whatever challenges come our way, ultimately the best is yet to come. To see everything that Leanne has gone through, and she just keeps pushing through and Every day I can see the blessings and just feel God's hand out here. Resilience is more than toughness and tenacity. It's bouncing back and coming back, often better and more robustly than ever before. It's not easy to come back after a setback. Our struggles come in all shapes and sizes. There are always plenty of reasons and excuses to give up. But it was John Wayne, another cowboy, who once famously said, courage is being scared to death and saddling up anyway. You will walk through the fire, but you will not be set ablaze. If, if you're walking with the Lord, he will get you through whatever you're going through. Opening day for the Flying W has already been postponed once this year due to COVID-19, but it will open. All the pieces are now in place. It's just a matter of when the state will allow it. Whenever that day comes, you can be sure that Leanne and her team will be ready. The Flying W Ranch has risen out of the ashes, reminding us that no matter how rough the road, it's the tough and the resilient who, with God's help, can keep going no matter what challenges they face.
I haven't sung that song since February. So Cassie.